Lacey, you think girls have it really bad because of their bloody vaginas and the way of getting pregnant? Well, my penis gets in the way because it's so large, 18 inches, but it's so large and it just gets in the way. It's like a baby holding an apple. So uh, please, bitch, stop complaining because it's not working out. Electronic, supersonic, hypnotic, funk. Electronic, supersonic. <laughs> you know I'm kidding. I would never, I would never be serious about that. I'm all for, for V power, not virginity power. Well, maybe that. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sick, so sorry if I sound like, like really measly because my my nose is stuffed and stuff. So yeah. Um. All right. Lacey, you asked, what's your craziest sexual experience? And I would have to say making out with a straight guy, even though I guess if I was making out with a straight guy, that technically doesn't make him straight. But he he kept stopping me every five minutes. This was like, mind you, this was four years ago. And um, he kept stopping me every five minutes saying, just so you know, I'm straight. This is, this is the alcohol, okay? I'm straight. And I'm just like, no, you're not. You're not straight. Whatever helps you sleep at night, bitch. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Michael, you asked, what was your longest crush? And uh, I think my longest crush was like three years. It was from sixth, sixth grade to eighth grade. It was um my best friend from middle school, and he was a boy, and he was not gay at all. But I was still pretty much in love with him, even though I knew that I would never have my way with him. But a boy can dream. A boy can dream. I see him on the streets every now and then, begging for change and a home and some heroin. Oh, I miss him. Nick, you asked if your lover allowed you to cheat on them, would you? I would have to say no because, I don't know, my naked body is for my lover's eyes and his naked body is for my eyes only. And also the whole, like, just sleeping with, like, other people while you're with someone and you still consider each other boyfriends. I think this is just, like, an excuse for, like, still wanting to sleep around, but you still want a boyfriend at the same time. It's just... It's just not for me. I like monogamy and, uh, yeah, um, unless, you know, Edward Cullen or Jake Shears, like, popped out of nowhere and they were just like, take me, then I would totally get on that. Totally get on that, like, a sap. You don't even have to ask me twice. I, oh, God. Johnny, you asked if you could sleep with anyone, who would it be? Fictional, famous, right now, or whatever. Um, and I think that was Michael's and Nick's, or Nick's, um, first question on the joint channel. Um, and my answer was Jake Shears from the Scissor Sisters. I would do him in a heartbeat. Him or Edward Cullen from the Twilight series without, without Whiny Bella. Mm. Alright, so my challenge for this week is for you guys to dress like the opposite sex, meaning guys dress like a girl and Lacey dress like a guy. Yeah! This, this wig itches. Get it off, get it off, get it off! So my question last week was, what was your favorite grade and why? And my answer is fifth grade. I know, Michael, we're so much alike, but it was fifth grade because um, I started meeting my friends, I started picking out the clothes that I wanted, and I started listening to the music that I wanted, and fifth grade was the year that I decided that I wanted to be a musician, so that was, I think that was my favorite year, 1998 through 1999, is when NSYNC came into my life, and that's when little Britney Spears came out of the television. It's freaking awesome music Friday! I want you to come across. Factor, I think their sound is basically from the future, mixed with electronica, it's rock, and a little bit of screamo here and there. Okay, just like 1% screamo, like maybe one and a half, maybe. 
And so, um, if you enjoy electronic music and just cool beats and just like experimental music here and there, I think you're gonna really like Vector. Um, they, I think, they remind me a little bit of, um, Daft Punk, but not really. Effector is just like more their own music than Daft Punk was. Um, they're more like dance, get loud, and you know, take your clothes off and just get crazy. That's how I feel when I listen to their song, Pretty Lady, which is a song that we're listening to right now. So, enjoy them, enjoy their music, and go check them out on their MySpace, and they should have music out on iTunes soon, and a full-length album soon, so expect that. So, yeah. They're really good friends of mine, and they're really cool. So, you guys should definitely check them out, because I still have a in my hand. Oh. So, yeah. Have a good weekend, guys, and don't get too face and say that I mean whatever Nobody Bye